Getting ready to try out the chocolate muscadine ice cream. This Five seconds, you got ice cream. Ice cream, more like ice cream. See there? That's really good. Makes it better. Is if we put a whole bunch of chocolate in it. Hershey's chocolate syrup. Mm. Something like New ice cream recipe. I've actually got two coming up for November. I always try to do ice cream recipes based on what I have excess that I harvested from my homestead. This month... The first one we are doing is muscadine ice cream. Not only is it muscadine ice cream, it is muscadine ice cream that is high in protein and chocolate. You cannot beat two combinations. Chocolate goes good with everything. First thing we start with is five cups of water. I'm not like perfect when I measure it out. Might be five and a quarter cups, might be four and three quarter cups. You never know. There's four. Five. Next thing you want, you want one cup of powdered milk. If you don't have powdered milk, use one cup of regular milk. I'm actually using Nido. Sometimes I use Great Value brand. The Great Value brand is actually fat free. The Nido is not, or at least the Nido that I have. Again, I don't necessarily always measure it out. I just kind of like. Like that wasn't an level one cup because you find out when you cook all the time, sometimes measurements don't necessarily always have to be correct. <laughs> you're going to want either one cup of heavy cream or you're going to want to have three ounces of cream cheese or about three tablespoons of butter or three tablespoons of cottage cheese. Any of those three things will work for the fat part of the ice cream. I'm actually going to use butter because I'm out of cream cheese and I'm out of cottage cheese, which is very unusual, but I need to go to the store tomorrow. If you use butter, you do need to go ahead and melt it. We are just going to do this the way we did everything else. We're just going to kind of like eyeball it. Again, because exact measurements don't necessarily always have to be correct. So about three tablespoons of butter. Stick it in the microwave till it's melted, then add it to your mixture. So our melted butter. Four scoops of chocolate protein mix. You could do more than four scoops if you want, but I do four scoops. Sometimes I do six, sometimes I do eight. Four scoops is a good start. This is 30 grams of protein per scoop. It is chocolate flavored. You can use vanilla flavored protein mix and then just use um, like Hershey's cocoa mix. Uh, I believe it's one tablespoon. So you would do your uh, four scoops of vanilla protein and then four scoops of the chocolate cocoa mix. Once you have that done, you want to do three tablespoons of vanilla extract. I've been making so much ice cream, I've been burning this vanilla extract up. I'm just going to use this same spoon I used for the butter. It's not going to be exactly a measured tablespoon, but you know, again, we're just kind of like throwing this together like I do all recipes. It's kind of funny that even chocolate ice cream has vanilla base. That is all chocolate ice cream. I think I put four in there. I was only supposed to do three, but whatever. Next thing you're going to do. This is a pint of muscadine 
syrup. What is muscadine syrup? It is muscadine that I was going to make in jelly and I just didn't boil it long enough. So it's basically a syrup instead. I'm going to dump that in there. And the final step, you can either use one cup of sugar or a half cup of honey. Generally, I would use honey, but the sugar is a closer walk for me right now. <laughs> one cup sugar. Once you got all that done, you want to mix it up. I'm going to use an immersion blender like I always do. That has been the, like the greatest addition to my kitchen ever. If you don't have an immersion blender, I'll leave a link below in the description where I got this one at on Amazon. This has been great. I'm using this thing sometimes two, three, four times a week. Usually what I do is I do this a couple of times. That way, when I turn it on, everything don't just evaporate into the ground it, or into the air. All that powder would just become airborne, not in the recipe. So I do this until it is mostly all the powders off the top surface. Then we'll mix it up for real. Now I'm making this mine. I have a uh, Ninja Creamy and I also have a KitchenAid ice cream maker for my KitchenAid mixer. Sometimes I do the churn style ice creams. Sometimes I just like quick and easy in the Ninja Creamy. So now we've got most of it mixed that way. Let's go ahead and turn this on. <laughs> I think we're mostly mixed up now. Next thing we're going to do is add it to our Ninja Creamy bowls. I always try to do this where you can see. Not very easy to be honest with you. Just fill it up to the fill line. Makes one pint. There is the fill line. Now I've also got recipes up. I make all kind I make a recipe of ice cream every month. Sometimes I do it for the Ninja Creamy, sometimes I do it in the KitchenAid. So if you like ice creams, you probably want to subscribe to my channel cuz I do pretty unique ones every month. I'd never seen an elderberry ice cream, but I made it last month. Um I don't know that anybody's ever made a muscadine ice cream. I never even looked. I try to keep my content unique that not everybody else has done a million times. But sometimes it don't always work out that way. Looks like I got just a little bit left. I doubt if there's enough for a full one, but we'll go ahead and check it and see. I might just add some chocolate to it and some more water and milk and to make another one. We'll see how much we're lacking. I think it's going to be quite a bit actually. Eh, that's not too bad. I think I'm just going to stick it in the refrigerator like that. So these go in the refrigerator for 24 hours, then I'll bring you to the next step. Getting ready to try out the chocolate muscadine ice cream. Gonna do the uh, half container, the partial container of it. This is what it looks like before it goes in the creamy. Again, this is a half container. If you've never used a Ninja Creamy before, they're very easy to use. You put the canister down in the container, put the lid on it, Put it in the ice cream maker, turn it on. Select ice cream. Mm -hmm. 
So really in less than four minutes and 30 seconds, you've got ice cream. Once you take it out, it is actually like ice cream, more like ice cream. See there? Mmm. Oh my, that is really good. The only thing that can make it better is if we put a whole bunch of chocolate in it. Hershey's chocolate syrup. Mmm. Something like that. This ain't a full container, so. Wow, that muscadine tastes really good with this chocolate. I'm not going to joke with you. I'm acting like I've made this before, and this is actually the first time I ever made it. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. that is so so good you have no idea so I hope you enjoy this video there's our muscadine chocolate ice cream and uh if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm all the time posting how I live on the homestead. I try to do a monthly ice cream recipe, and I have one coming up you are going to love for November besides this one. So hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.